Greetings and welcome to Christ the King Parish in Concord, New Hampshire. I'm Father Rich, the pastor, and welcome uh, to Chapel Chat. So, Merry Christmas, uh, with great joy that we proclaim that our Lord has, uh, has been born in Bethlehem. It's, uh, it's the joy of, of uh, our Christian faith. And uh, actually, we wouldn't be celebrating Christmas if Jesus hadn't risen from the dead. In actuality, uh, the, uh, the church started celebrating Christmas uh, you know, much later, um, you know, but the real celebration is Easter, huh? when Jesus rose from the dead, he triumphed over sin and death. And that's our hope, our dream, huh? that we will one day experience the fullness of life in Christ. But then when the church looked back, they, uh, they recognized and they decided to see the, the stories of his nativity uh, and the Gospel of Luke, which primarily is the, the main gospel that we use, reminds us of, of his birth, that uh, this, uh, this God uh, took on flesh. We spoke about that last week. Uh, God shared in our humanity so that we might share in his divinity. So that's a, what's a, what a great gift, uh, you know, that we are set free from our brokenness, our sins, our, uh, our failures, because God first came and shared in our humanity. He, he was in us, like us in all things, but sin. He experienced all of the pain that we suffer in our lives, Jesus experienced in his humanity. He came as a little child, so vulnerable, huh? so vulnerable, and in need of, uh, of human parents. Uh, his father was God, God the Father, but Mary was his mother, and he was given Joseph. And uh, this year we're celebrating the, the year of Joseph. So two you know, in very important saints, Mary and Joseph, who are examples to us on how we should ex accept and how we should uh, welcome Jesus in our lives like they did. You know, they, uh, they had the God that they cared for. And just think of how we can experience the, the presence of God and the people around us, our children, our spouse, our co-workers, our friends, our, co our students, fellow students at school, the people that we meet, the most vulnerable, there we see the presence of Jesus. And uh, so there should be a lot of joy in our hearts because uh, Jesus is our hope, you know, and uh, our promise. And so I'd like to share with you uh, one of my favorite Christmas hymns, and it's a joy to the world because I think it says it all. It talks about, uh, about Jesus and the joy of, of having such a great savior. And so I share this song with you, really as a prayer. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let us our songs employ. While fields and floods, rock hills and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his love. It's a beautiful song that really, uh, really speaks about the joy of a king a savior uh, of transforming all the universe, all the world, all of nature, so that we might share his life. And so may God's choicest blessings come upon you as we celebrate Christmas. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.